Waking up after another restless night, you lace up your boots and step out into the sweltering heat of an Afghan summer. For those deployed here, where it can last all day and well after sunset. Still, music fills the night in Kabul as a ragtag group of musicians sacrifice sleep for the chance to do what they love. We don't have a lot of time after work. Uh, we were just trying to recover from working all day. And life in Afghanistan revolves around time. The time spent here and the time left before going home. For the group, free time is about music and sharing it with friends. These guys have become very close, uh, like a second family. And, uh, I, there's no way to describe how much I look forward to coming out and playing with them because it's, it's literally what helps me get through. It is very heartfelt. All of us put our hearts into this, and I think that's the most important part for us. We, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Really wouldn't. More than a dozen musicians from five countries, both soldiers and civilians, make up this group. A strength, according to one musician. We're all from different countries, and we're all foreign to each other. But music brings us together, and really, that's, that's the unifying effect. Music brought this group together. Friendship bonded them. And most recently, the sense of duty inspired their latest achievement. It's a, uh, a CD that was uh, written, recorded, and produced here in Afghanistan. And the title of the CD is Tracks in the Dust, Songs from Afghanistan. It's the, the double entendre, the, uh, the tracks being musical tracks, as well as every time you walk anywhere here in Afghanistan, you're going to leave tracks in the sand, in the dust. Trax is leaving marks not only through the dust, but also in history. Well, there's, there's definitely never been a, a record recorded in a war zone. Not that I know of. Um, it's, it's cool, you know, to, to be able to uh, go to work and serve a purpose, and then when you're not working, get with your friends and pull out your guitars and play some songs, record it. The album was recorded entirely in the field, without professional equipment but the resulting quality is exactly what the group wants. It's got to be the raw creation that it is because uh, the idea of the project is it's done here in Afghanistan in a war zone by forward deployed personnel, both from the civilian and the military communities from multiple countries. From folk and jazz to country and rock, the tracks on the album are as diverse as their creators. Each song uh, should be taken independently. There was no real theme uh, to the CD. It was independent songs written by the people who are here right now. Independent, but unified with a single goal, the Wounded Warrior Project. We all know people who have been injured in war or, or who have lost life. And this touches all of us. I mean, we're all connected to, to anything that Wounded Warrior Program does because um, it affects our lives as well. All profits from album sales are being donated to the project. But I think that the camaraderie and the, uh, the focus of attention on, on a project like this makes me feel uh, you know, that I'm fulfilling some kind of mission. I don't know, that sounds kind of, kind of crazy, but it, it just feels that way, that I'm, I'm fulfilling something that I needed to do. Fulfilling a mission for the wounded but also telling the story of all those deployed through their song, Dusty Tracks. It's kind of a way to express uh, what we're going through. Um, and it's, it's instead of saying it or writing about it, uh, if we can put it into music, it makes it a little more entertaining, but also it helps convey um, a sense of what we're having to deal with on a deployment. This job's never as night shifts to morning, the music fades and they begin their walk home. But in Afghanistan, life revolves around time. For the group, free time is about music. Uh, some people at the end of a long day try to unwind by uh, watching a movie or, or part of a movie before they, they fall asleep because they're, they're so tired, um, or reading a little bit. Um, for us, we put together a CD. 
leaving. In Kabul, I'm Petty Officer Cody Hitson.